And when I want her to stop, I'm gonna say, whoa, and immediately pull her head into me. Back up. This does take some core strength, but it works. Thank you. Oh, and it proves for an immediate stop. Oh. And over time, you don't have to pull up or pull as much. And I always desensitize afterwards because I don't want her to be head shy or anything like that. I'm not hurting her in any way, but horses can be sensitive. So I just always make sure that she's not afraid of anything when I'm done. But Thank you. I wouldn't ask her that many times normally, but I only have one hand right now. So. Oh. This time we'll be able to do it better because we're off the thing. So first off, I don't want her coming into my space. Back up. Back up. Thank you. So, I'm gonna get her going. I don't like her trotting or running through mud. Oh. She didn't stop. I'm going to make it until she does. Right there, since she stopped, I'm gonna relax. You always wanna start with as little amount of pressure as you can, and then go up. So this time, oh! I want her to stop immediately. Since she didn't, she's gonna back up. Back up! Back up. Good. I'm gonna relax. Oh. Now you saw how much quicker she stopped that time. So right now I'm staying behind her drive line and making sure that she knows I'm not asking for her to stop. And if I were to step out in front of her drive line like I just did, she should know to stop. Good girl. I'm gonna step behind her drive line and ask to get ask again. She's typically pretty good starting at a trot when I asked for it. She's being lazy today, so we're just gonna work with it. Keep it up. And again, you step out in front of that drive line, she stops. That's how you want it. Easy. Again, desensitizing her. Uh -uh. Um, desensitizing her, make sure she's not afraid of anything. I do this every time I lunge, just because I don't want her to adapt any type of fear. And I never hit her hard, unless she is being dangerous herself, like rearing up or bucking or anything like that. Um, those are the only times I hit her, and when she stops. But that's just a little pop like that. That doesn't hurt her. Um, I apply pressure steadily and slowly when she's not listening. So if I wanted her to go, um, I'm gonna use this as an example, she knows I'm not asking for anything, but if I were to have a click to her, I would start out whipping like this. And I just slowly increase the pressure. And she should, as soon as I actually ask for something, 
Again, this is getting behind the drive line. She's not letting me, so I hit her. Not hard, but I told her, hey, stop, pretty much. So that's all you really want to do. Go slow. Uh, let them teach you, and you teach them at the same time. You don't want to be forceful where he becomes afraid of you, but you want to stay in that alpha stage. You want her to know, or him to know, you mean business. She has a horse on her. Horse five. Of course she has a horse. She has a horse fly on her face, I bet. And again, you should be able to swap sides and everything relatively easily. Oh. Oh. There we go. Back up. So, first off, I'm going to start in a walk. So, I'm going to lean back. Oh. I'm going to lightly pull back. She did not stop immediately. So, I'm going to immediately back her up.
up all the time. Don't do two steps and a stop, or three steps and a stop. You wanna do a few circles, then stop, then do a circle, then stop, half circle. Just change it up, never stop in the same place, and stuff like that. So we're gonna get one more good stop, if she does it this time. And then we're going to move on to a trot on this side. She's trying to turn into the camera, which I'm not allowing. Uh oh. Mm, that was iffy. I'll do one more.
go. And in the next video, we'll do flipping. Easy. Every single day